Yana suart a bie suart. Purt ia siet nech be suart am ant ebe suart kur en yo. Purt ebe me suart a it ant ayen. Tai. Ia an atu an as ia sheve. Iton du sucht ve suart kiana. Tu naya siana shich ved nos tu kurt a ma sie nocht ai. Ive ne shet nocht o suart kiana. Tur tur ta ha siacht an me ves. Iv tur ta hat iana sut i me te shoch. Urto ne seve, ne se ne me sutaha. Tua na si e si e te e suarta am. Im te veneso, im te venesuarta. Mi sutun ti e te se ne toko. Ia na sa mi venese. Tu na ta ya si e ne xon tu kur. Mi saha, mi saha, mi saha. Hey, Anna, yeah. Hey, Anna, yeah, 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 And I, 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 and I send the veneo hondo anae. I anae anae ende me ando yo. I su ananda anae ande vene. Indo no do no do no ye. Ura na siachta a mi se veheno. Surt a, surt a. Im te vese no tukt a yishi e nechte se me tana ha. Uro no se vete yeshena. Ise et eshene te yisut nunta. E yana, e yana, e yana u. Hey, Anna, why? Anna, yeah, 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 Anna, why? Anna, yeah, hey, Anna, why? Satnam, thank you for joining me. Thank you for connecting with me, with this energy, this consciousness. This is actually something that's very close to my heart, this very specific um, story, if you will. <laughs> um, I really love, I really resonate with um, the darkness. 
at least the teachings that the darkness brings um and which which is ultimately which the ultimate goal is always to teach you your inner light right um interestingly enough i was actually i was actually having a talk about that with somebody today interestingly so <clears throat> The energy I received with with this being, which was actually the very the the second, well, it was the very first being like this that I drew actually, the very first one like this, and um, I resonated so much with it because it reminded me so much of, um, well, you know, the darkness, the underworld, symbolically meaning, um, you know, as as a lot of deities usually go to the underworld and. Um, are reborn greater etc etc that's the kind of underworld i'm talking about that underworld is actually just a, a metaphor um and a symbol for our our unconscious and even the collective unconscious as well it's all the parts of our psyche and our being that are in shadow meaning that are not illuminated that are not conscious that are um playing out unhealthy um patterns and etc 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 you get what i'm saying so um this being feels like feels like a guide in a way to um de uh, to yes but also through through the darkness and um if you if you if you look into the being and just receive its medicine. Allow to show you where it is that you need to place more of your awareness, more of the light of your awareness within yourself. Which part of your own personal underworld, subconscious, unconscious, needs to be recognized, needs to be visited? I hope you can feel my intention. I anna suart asier me short. All in love, I want to guide you. Es wurden ist eche, ne schöne so an acht, tur, 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 dach mich, wenn ich doch hon. So I'm being reminded to, I'm being reminded to remind you to not let appearances deceive, though this might look very devilish. Um, that's a very modern construct actually because a lot of a lot of ancient deities used to have horns even moses from the bible actually um in some in some instances and in some in some thought was like said to have horns um horns to me symbolize a connection with divinity actually because for me horns are um horns and tusks and um you know antlers those kinds of things are are to me very symbolic of connection with divinity they they almost they're almost like antlers in a way <laughs> like antlers like antenna in a way <laughs> um, but yeah antlers as well they're almost like antenna in a way that really soak up divine energy divine knowledge and divine information <laughs> A lot of people are so afraid of the darkness. Usually whenever you see something, um, especially like this, like like this being, and it it creates a a fear reaction within you or a a feeling of uncomfortability or a feeling of um judgment even or just just like um not liking. You you understand what I'm saying? When that happens, it is usually an indication of something within you, as I'm sure a lot of people, especially if you are interested in, 
in listening to me and watching and um, receiving what it is that I'm offering would know that like everything is just a projection, etc., etc., right? That is a very, very, very true thing that I have been learning as of late, like very recently, that's very much been a part of my journey and my teachings. Everything is exactly my um, a reflection of me. Whenever something makes me feel uncomfortable or makes me feel whatever, um, afraid or anything like that, that is just my own fear. I have been in instances where I have been physically in, in danger um, and where I have been just in really, really, really shitty situations. But I, whenever I was in an actual, actual dangerous situation, I was never afraid. I was just very aware, very conscious and very um, in tune with spirit at that time. As spirit was really guiding me on what to do, what to say, how to act, etc, etc. Which is just another um, lesson which I, another thing, like a lesson that I keep learning is that fear is always a lie. It does not matter what it tells you. It does not matter what things seem like. Fear always lies. It is always a lie. There's a, there's a big difference between, between fear and being aware, between fear and being discerning, etc. The very last thing that I want to mention about this being when I drew it especially is that it reminded me very much. It has a very deep, deep oceanic vibe for me as well. Um, almost like, like um, it reminded me very much of the Apsu that like an ancient Sumerian um, mystery. I don't like. I don't want to call it mythology anymore because, like, how do we know? You know, <laughs> um, an ancient Sumerian mystery or thoughts or whatever. Um, what the people believed is that I think it was Enki that was the god of the Apsu, and the Apsu was like the fresh water, underground water, the the un fresh underground water, but it was like like oceans vast. It was like really, really, really big. And in a way, was almost like also kind of like symbolic of of a void slash, um, not really underworld, but kind of ish that vibe for me at least, energetically speaking. Um, so yeah, this this is a very ancient, ancient, ancient consciousness, ancient um, like entity, yes. But I mean, these entities. Um, are me and like in a sense you but these are my representations these are my projections you understand what I'm saying um, always in service to guide you to finding your own connection with spirit with creator Thank you so much for connecting with me. Thank you so much for receiving this information, for receiving the downloads, the frequencies, the teachings, the wisdom, all of the nice little things. <laughs> um, so yes, please do like, share, subscribe, comment. Um, also, please do donate. I really appreciate donations. I do offer private sessions wherein I activate you. I, I, I re really powerfully. There's a reason why I um, go with Spirit Catalyst because I found that I... Uh, really catalyze people that come to me. People that people that come to me are are usually in a state where they are ready to completely transform. And I've always found that when I work with somebody, I always go through like a thing with them. So that's just wonderful. Always growing, always learning. But I, um, I do offer private healing sessions, private whatever sessions. Um, not to label it, it really is exactly what you need, where I channel and we speak, etc, etc. I do offer the drawings as well, um, connecting with your energy, giving you a, 
an abundance of codes and frequencies and healing and equilibrium whatever it is you need thank you so much for connecting i love you i love me i hope you have a wonderful time wherever it is that you are let's sing bye